Welcome to Savile Row. We are in Savile Row where we have an exhibition of classic cars, really nice built classic cars. And also we have a lot of well-dressed men around. So I'm going to ask them what they are wearing. Gentlemen, what are you wearing today? Hi, I'm wearing a Giorgio Armani suit from 1988. Wow. So got the big lapels, the big shoulder pads, double pleated. And I stole it from my dad, so <laughs> it's period correct. Hello, my name is Michael James. I'm at the Classic Car Show in Savile Road. At the moment, I'm wearing a, a straw boater. Jack is from TK Maxx. Tied by George Armani. Shirt, I think, is also by George Armani. Charles is by Cox. And my loafers are by Lopes. Hi, I'm Martin Nichols here. Today I'm wearing a bespoke suit, which is cut, designed and made by myself. Uh, I'm a Savile Row uh, cutter on uh, Norton and Sons, yeah. and this is uh, inspired by country wear, but it's designed also to work uh, through travel as well as the uh, summertime and that sort of thing as well. So it's got some really great details that I kind of like. Signature, to, like a little flap on the pocket outbreast there. pocket, uh -huh. my classic uh, turnback cuffs, uh -huh. and a little trademark flash there. What? Just the one button. Uh -huh. Very simple, very elegant, and a cod mouth lapel, which is another trademark of mine. Okay. Nice. And the shoes? The shoes are Edward Green. So, I'm wearing a cat in the dandy, ready to wear, uh, sort of wool silk linen jacket and a herringbone, undyed wool. Um, so, it's nice, natural colours. Um, then, bespoke shirt. Um, and then the bespoke trousers, uh, the wool silk linen, Solbiati um, kind of time off bunch, uh, real nice with the um, Joseph Chini loafers. Um, but yeah, there we are. Hi, my name's Tommy, Tommy Raban. Um, I'm wearing Scabal, and I, I work at this house here, Scabal here. Everything I'm wearing is manufactured and produced by Scabal, who produce and manufacture the highest quality fabrications in the world. Um, I'm being interviewed by someone who's almost, probably actually better dressed than me, if I could turn the camera around, but I, uh, I'm wearing a, a camel and silk and mohair suit, and uh, some of the ties and things like that are vintage, like classics from uh, uh, second-hand shops and things like that. And then um, this is the car that one day I'll own, but at the moment all I can afford is the grill. I'm saving up, uh, and one day maybe I'll get there. My name's Trevor. I'm wearing full Scabal today, Scabal number 12, Savile Row. Starting at the bottom, Gaziano and Gerlin shoes, Savile Row. Mm -hmm. uh, vintage Ralph Lauren tie, handkerchief that I bought in Spain, and, and vintage braces as well. So, this is a, a W Bill linen three piece made by Richard James. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, double breasted waistcoat, nice high rise pair of trousers, two and a half inch turn up, and some teeny spectator shoes. Um, today I'm wearing a terry cloth uh, jacket that was uh, made to measure for myself. Um, simple pair of polo, uh, rough and white jeans, um, a hacket shirt, and a pair of open, open walks. And then my Paragrants <laughs> from um, yeah, all really of the people. This is the new line from the deck. It's the men's tailored jacket. You see, I had it fitted here. Yeah, it's very really nice. Three roll two. Mm -hmm. And it's from this store here. And my linen trousers also from here. <laughs> okay. Um, the the linen shirt's from Drake's. <laughs> it's Drake's. Drake's. Okay. Um, Some of the jacket, of course, I get a lot of people ask about it. It's from Dashing Tweeds. Uh, mm. The fabric's from Dashing Tweeds. My company's made it. Cool. Uh, but Dash Tweeds, to cut a very long story short, is very eccentric. Uh, photographer yes. Guy Hills, uh, he was doing photography in, in South Row and he was looking through, looking through the archives. And he very much said, There's this beautiful tweed fabric, where's it from? And, and all the guys go, Well, it's from you know, 100 years ago, we don't, we don't do this anymore. So as a result, he was like, You know what? 
That's a cool one, I want to bring it back. So he, he designs these very much uh, tweed, contemporary tweed meet city. So I'm wearing this fantastic tweed, it's around a 350. It's got a reflective yarn in it, I don't know if you can see that. Can, can you get the camera to have a look at that? You see that, that grey line kind of going through there? So that's my kind of main piece today, it's very kind of... Um, American, I'm going to say quite sporty, and got the metal buttons, got a single vent as well, not usually... A single vent, you, yeah, you, that's you, really you, American. You yeah. usually see it, uh, yeah. it's, quite, <laughs> it's quite generously cut as well, it's not too kind of tailored uh -huh. or anything. Yeah. Uh, the shirt is from Huntsman, it's a good friend of mine, we fit, very much the same fit, and he was kind of mm -hmm. going through it, so he didn't really need it, so I took it off him. Uh, the trousers, they're from Italy, from a, from a, a mill called Raider, a mill in fact called Raider. They're a very nice, um, I think 260 Super 130, it's kind of olive green almost, with a couple of very small pleats in it. Yeah. Didn't want to make it again, too flash forward or too antiquated mm -hmm. as a result. And the shoes, uh, I wish they were from Chinese, but they're not, these are from Gretzen. And uh, the, the tie and the pockets were both vintage. I actually got this tie for one pound. One wow. pound? One pound, yeah, yeah, yeah. A nice tie. I do occasionally wow. splash out on ties for <laughs> a lot more than that. <laughs> but I've got this on one pound, yeah, it's one of my favorites actually. I really like it, yeah. I really like the, the Jagger. Thank you, yeah. Well, I bought it 12 years ago. Um, I've worn it three times. And uh, I bought it when Terry Cloth wasn't popular. And now with Oliver Brown and all these brands, ter Terry Cloth has become cool. <laughs> and uh, my, my little te Terry Cloth blazer from 10 years ago is now still looks immaculate um, and it hasn't aged. And that's the beauty of style over the fashion. <laughs> Do you have like any style of reference or inspiration? I mean, it's a lot of sort of um, very Neapolitan in that kind of sense. Um, you know, very Italian, um, mm -hmm. but also quite relaxed. Um, but trying to keep maintain a little bit of elegance and, and sort of ease with it. Ooh. Yeah, actually, you have the vibes of uh, yeah, Italian, I think. Yeah, thank you. The only thing is, maybe you have quite shoulder pads. Quite yeah, that's, so there quite is a bit of shoulder pads practice. in there. Uh, yeah. There's also my own shoulders in there, uh, which don't help. Uh, I'm a bigger fan of a softer shoulder, but every so often I like a, sometimes a bit of roping and a, and a bit of shoulder pads. So. The golden screen stars of uh, Cary Grant, mm -hmm. Frank Sinatra, um, Greg Gatsby, Robert Redford. Yeah. Well, you have like a really big lapels. <laughs> yeah. Do you like that this time? The big lapels. Yeah. You may also notice the shoulders, mm -hmm. the Neapolitan shoulders. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Right. But I try to create something. I take the elements from all these wonderful eras, mm -hmm. but create something yeah, for myself. Your own style. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. I think yeah. that's important. Yeah, and yeah. I can tell that you have your own style. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly Miami Vice. Um, or yeah, depending on the mood I go for, I either want to go 70s or 80s. But yeah, it's difficult. I don't, but I know what I like. I do. Uh, I like um, traditional tailoring, but I also like an unstructured fit. I like big sweeping. Uh, Peak lapels, I like um, big wide notch lapels. I love a double breasted jacket. Um, the really traditional pieces that, um, nice. yeah, like we say, they they are arts of work. They're pure craftsmanship, and hopefully, if you buy one and you buy the right one, it never goes out of style. Um, whatever the fashion trend is, we're not. We don't look at trends. Yeah, we, we look follow, at we, we don't follow trends. Yeah. We look to maintain, and we're the custodians of style. I think it's classic English uh, bespoke tailoring, but I like to reference the older generations as well. So, fusing the old with the modern, and looking forward to the future. No, well, I just like wide lapels, so I kind of just broaden my lapels as much as I could when it was made. Um, double breasted waistcoats. A previous colleague told me to to just to try it. Because I always wore three pieces, always single breasted waistcoat. Mm. And then he's like, well, you try this one, DB. And I did, and then since then I've never looked back. That was about uh, seven years ago. So all of my waistcoats are double breasted. I think, you know, it's just, I just think it's nice to be different. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of why I like to wear four miles well. Yeah. Oh, you got one as well. Yeah. Did you? Look at that. Lovely. Yeah, Similar exactly. configuration, dare I say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. It's just, it's just you, know, everyone, you know, anyone gets single breasted waistcoat, DB is just that, you know. It elevates it to be a bit more formal. I do definitely a bit agree. Sharper, yeah. Very much like Tweed Meat City. Okay. And for this, for the jacket, I thought to kind of counter, I don't want to make it too formal and too intentional. I want to make it quite relaxed. So I've given it the single vent and the cut slightly wide on the puzzle and the cut, kind of a generous cut. I don't directly like American too much. I think it's got a place in tailoring and I love that thing. <laughs> but I'd say more just kind of nonchalant down to earth. 
I don't want to seem too well dressed, I just want to seem quite approachable. I don't, I didn't really iron my shirt today either as a result of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think one of the most important things, the stigmas in men's fashion, I think is uh, uh, don't, less is more. I know maybe I'm wearing something quite garish, but also I think the most important thing is uh, is to, to be comfortable. Be who you are, like, you know, if you want to wear a nice comfortable jacket, just make sure you're comfortable in, in what you want to wear. Don't, don't, don't overkill it. Less is more is the most important thing. Just make sure you're wearing the jacket, make sure the jacket isn't wearing you. Be yourself. Be yourself. Yeah, perfect. Dress, dress like an ice cream. <laughs>